how can agents generate leads uh, themselves without having to go the buying route? Um, sandwich boards uh, on intersections. <laughs> <laughs> pizza, Works every pizza time. suits. <laughs> yeah. <Science> centers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here, think, here let, me, let me answer the question in, I think, a more be- beneficial way to your guys' listeners. Imagine a spoke on uh, a, a, you know, a bicycle wheel, right? And so there's a circle, and then there's a sub, you know, the hub's in the middle, and then there's a lot of spokes, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so if you're, gonna, if you're riding down the road and, you're, and you have that front wheel, and that front wheel's only got, it has no spokes, obviously it has no integrity, it can't even roll technically. But the second you hit, like, say you have one spoke, and the second you hit a pebble in the road, the wheel's going to collapse, right? Okay, so there's that. And so what we coach agents to do is build spokes on their wheel that are not predicated on having to buy leads. And the ideal real estate agents business have seven strong spokes and they're all proactive lead generation. Hopefully you understand that analogy. But here's really the answer to your question. If you're buying your business, and this is this is something I, I think if you guys, if people conceptually get this, they're going to see the uh, absolute insanity of buying all their business. So your first spokes have to be proactive lead generation. They cannot be bought business. After you do the proactive lead generation, if you want to buy business, you can, but you won't have to because you'll be a proactive lead generator. Hmm. Would you guys would you guys build a mansion on uh, ground you don't own, on land you do not own? Would you build a mansion on land you do not own? Would not, no. Isn't that what an agent who buys their business is doing? Hmm. Yeah, that's a good uh, good analogy. We agree, hundred well, percent. I had some of these agents who are coaching clients, and they're in our group at um, EXP, and they came to us, and they're like, oh, "Holy crap!" I made you know some of them had made low six figures off of it, and they knew that they should. What some of them had done is they'd become overly reliant on on that as a source of business. So they were building their you know lifestyle and their business on ground they didn't own, and just like that, it was taken away. 